Hello and welcome back dear friends, it's me Odo. You are watching my Pathfinder Kingmaker campaign. Um, last time we just ran around in Silver, uh, Silver Lake, I think this is called. Success. And uh, we were nearly killed. <laughs> But we got around and now we are oh, looted, looted, we didn't Okay, and now we are looking for some caves. Ooh, two thousand gold, nice. I'm positive I found something. A lot of stuff in here, and a lot of stuff we get. Mm -hmm. Hmm. There is this, there is a small path to the cave. Let's see what we'll find there. Hmm. Where is the fish? Some unknown power made entire schools of fish jump ashore. Mm, some of the fish are already dead, but others twitch their eyes, bulging their mouths, opening and closing silently, as if out of desperation and awe. Okay. Oops. More tetzel rooms. Mm-hmm. Okay, um... Jubilos! No, what are you doing? You should throw this thing on the tassel worms. Let's make a five foot step and then attack this guy. I'll loot your corpse. Mm -hmm. Let's kill this one first. And look yes. mm -hmm. Die for me. Yep, okay, died for you. Okay, um, yeah, just hmm, that's nice. When everyone attacks battery, mm hmm. Okay, um, 
let's kill this one first. Yeah, and this one second. Of course, I knew that this would work. Okay. Okay, one hit her. But we hit more often now. Okay, let's kill this burns. Okay, that's that. Let's take whatever we can go. Mm -hmm. What's that? There's a fish. That's good. That's probably the thing that we have to put up there. Um, in the spot on the clip on the cliff Some unknown power made in task yeah we already read that and there is the door inside the cliff quiet footsteps huh we can get down here as well. We already have this fish. We can use it up here already. Mm. That's tasty looking. Okay. Ah. <laughs> we'll do it the hard way. Oh. <laughs> He's here immediately. Interesting. Well, what's that? An ancient wyvern. Ugh. Oh, 15 dragon. Uh, this was probably not the right decision to do. Um. Okay, um... Send him some... Some troops. What's that? Crushing despair for the enemies. <laughs> Let's do a prayer. Okay, now. Loot your corpse. Oh, nice. Critical hits. Mm -hmm. What's that? Um, a blinding bomb. Probably that's also nice. Did he? 
Did he do the full save? To succeed. He has a plus 16 to fortitude. Ah, yeah, probably. That's not the best thing. <laughs> he uh, has only a plus 15 because of prayer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you should do, uh, like, a spell as well, because I don't want you to be in the first row. Mm -hmm. Nice hit. Wait, what? Okay. The weak suffer. I endure. Okay. Um stay behind me. Dragon Guard, you will take a step back. Stab their backs. Ah, oh, come on. No hit at all. Um, mm -hmm. unworthy. Yeah, you are. Oh, come on, Jethel. Okay, let's take a five. Then let's just say we want to do this. Like, can we do it without hitting everyone? No. Um... Yeah, let's do a blur on you. That's nice. It's someone else, not Dragongar. How about you hit someone your size, like Battery? probably should do that and let's just hit this thing nearly dead wretched things okay Oh, 
Cool. Constitution damage is to... Let's do a restoration on you. Okay. Five constitute back. Together we are unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Phew. That was that. Again, hard hard to do. Let's enter here. This should probably save game. Mm -hmm. I found something interesting. Mm -hmm. If it's interesting, but it's a pile of notes. That's easy. Let's read the pile of notes then. Okay, first note. I'm not gonna say it out loud. The chief ripped me a new one if he heard me. But I think it's time to hit the road. Silver Staff is cursed. Look, yesterday. I saw a boat sailing in the lake, a big kind with a big sail, and there were a bunch of people on board, around some big box or chest or something. All of a sudden, the steersman spins the wheel and rams the boat right against the rocks. The wreck went down a cliff not far from our cave. The people jumped out and tried to swim for shore, but they just froze in place and sank under. Without a sound. One got close enough, I could see his face, a mask of terror. I can't even begin to describe. He yelled something about Karen, went pale, rose like the others, and hopped. Oh, last I saw him. Sure, there are plenty of nasty beasts around, but this was something else. I trust my instinct, and they are screaming at me loud as can to get out while we still can. If we don't, we are all gonna die. Second note, cut the whining bug, wreck boat, and you say we should run. I say we go take a look. Might be there some valuables in the wreckage. Third note. Now you've done it. She found out about the boat and the chest, and now all he talks about is looking for treasure. He's gonna have the others out searching for it, poking around the lake bed with hooks at night. All things so the locals don't notice. I'm telling you, no good will come of it. This, these rules give me. The Give me what's what uh blah 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 blah. <sighs> These would give me the creeps. It was even worse at night. The day before yesterday, it was on my way back to the cave and heard a noise behind me. Turned around and saw two glowing eyes staring at me from the woods. A grove in the dark and just two blazing embers in the night. I don't know what it was, and I don't want to know. I'm just glad it disappeared as soon as I saw it. Fourth note. While you were busy being scared of a wolf or runaway kitty or whatever it was I found that box, it's just sitting here, all that precious right on the lake bed. 
It's not even that far from shore. We're fishing it out tomorrow. Are you serious? I swear, if we don't get out of here before the box is out of the water, something terrible is going to happen. Look, the hatch that attacked the cave was scary, sure, but we gave it hell, didn't we? And then, and when the chief set it on fire, it ran off, didn't it? Howled so loud, I thought my head would explode but we came out fine no i think i'm gonna stay that box is full of treasure and as full as for beasts and those drowned men of yours well this profession is all about taking risks right <laughs> so there's risks and there's whatever this is no, when the chief goes out to get that box, I'm gonna show my heels. Farewell, Paul. Live, life is long. Maybe we'll meet again someday. If we play our cards right. Okay, so one of them seems sensible. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Enough. You can thank me now. Yeah, I'll thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. These boats were obviously pulled ashore recently. Inside them are hooks, pivots, and other tools that would be needed to recover fluid from under the water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Quiet footsteps. Is there something I missed? No. Oh, <laughs> there is another um, way. I missed something, yes. I'll be damned that beast again. No, these new strangers. Okay. I bet they want to take away our loot. They are messing with the wrong men. Okay. They dare threaten me. Really? Why did we see this when they just attack us? Okay, um and it's nothing fancy. And it's this is even a level 4 bandit. Level 8, this is the ball. Level 4. Okay. Um, yeah. Now what? Just put some of these out here. As long as he's put it. <laughs> Battery. Let's... Can you charge in? Yes, you can. That's good. Okay. Let's throw some bomb. Like here. No. Yeah. 
Well, probably not the mob. He still has uh, the... Ah, uh, yeah. He should be... Really... Yeah, that's... Bosses down. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, let's kill the Necromancer first. Let's kill the Necromancer. Oh, probably not. How many ones do I roll? I mean, this is... This is not nice. That's the Necromancer, and he's gone. Oh, Harim. Repent. Your life ebbs flow. Despicable. How curious. Oh, come on. Really? Really? <clears throat> I'll cut you. <laughs> okay. This one. Next. That's that. I am just what attack. Or just not attack. Oh. Wrong. Wrong key. Mm -hmm. I think the hard, get, the hard uh, fight is just when we when we open the thing. Ah! 
I should open it as fast as possible as long as we have still the undead around. Hmm. Yeah, I will stop here today. Um, I or should I? Yeah, I, I will. I will just save the game right here and now. Then let's open it. Or well, let's move it something. Mm -hmm. Before we do anything else, water and sludge still drip from the huge stone block, um, which has obviously been dredged from the lake bottom. On close examination, it looked like a huge chest, or rather a sarcophagus. One side bears an engraved symbol, a skull with a single eye socket, and the eye socket is covered with a... Uh, law religion, we have plot lighting, very good. Knowledge arcana, that's better. Examine the area of the sarcophagus, yeah, we failed, of course. Magic presence here is obvious. You can sense powerful necromancy energies, but can't figure out the specific spells it uses. Okay, search a keyhole or easier means to really. We rolled what? A 10? A 2? How can this be? We had plus 19 and we needed 21, so it must have been a 1. Oh, come on. That's mean. That's stupid. I mean, I could have lived with the. <clears throat> with not knowing anything about that. But let's do... Um, yeah, now we succeeded, of course. The engraving on the side of the sacrifice resembles the symbol of Charon, the horseman of death. But Charon's symbol usually has two eye sockets, each covered by a coin. <clears throat> here has only one. There's nothing more you can tell about the sarcophagus except that it's ancient. Yeah, we already knew that. Uh, plus eight. It was also in the two. And we succeeded. You have no idea where the sarcophagus came from, but you know enough about enchantments to know there must be an easy way to open it. Experimenting with the engraving in various combinations, you discover when you press your finger against the skull symbol with your hand on the lid. That was lit Your triumph is short-lived, however, as the lid slides open, there is the sound of something, something huge stirring within the sarcophagus. You hear a rattling whistling whistle like a air pushed through a leaky bellows and fly from the sarcophagus. Whatever's inside this is huge, angry and far from dead. Okay. It's a leak or something like that. <laughs> Let's see if we die. Ah. So A zombie lord, a thick skinned dread zombie cyclop. Okay. Sounds nice, I think. And we didn't hit it. Wait, what? what happened?
We are... Good hope? No. Less? No. Shot? What's that? Fear? Ugh. Of course, fear. Yeah, fear, fear. Okay, slotty part fast. This is a level 15 undead. Your death awaits. Yeah, and we rolled a 1 again. Really? Whoa. Come back, you fool. Jubilost. Ah, there's a zombie lord. This one made the... Uh, um, made this thing, probably. Didn't see that there are differences between the zombies. Let's kill the zombie lord. Yeah, harem. You're stupid. I'll loot your corpse. Okay. Mm. How about this? How many people would I hit with that? Okay, if I go here, if I move here. I could do that. Ah. Got him hit. Also, the zombies are nearly done, and he's burning. We we are probably winning this fight, although I didn't think we would after half of our crew just ran away. Yeah, probably. We are not we are not winning this fight. Mm -hmm, Harem, that's the right place to be. their backs uh, probably will die Regonga just do your nice electricity magic
<laughs> nice work, buddies. Okay, um, Bandit Necromancer, Fixed Kin Dread, Cyclops, all in all together. This is a great A. Yeah, just take everything, why not? We need to try something else. Okay, my dear friends, I will do this without you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>